Yeah. We're now with Roberto from Belgium. Um, Hello. So, the first question, who is Roberto, the one that we not, don't see in camera? Oh, um, I'm simple. I'm very simple, I authentic and uh, I say I'm very kind. I'm very kind and uh, I'm funny and um, yeah, I'm, ve I'm very uh, a simple boy. And when you don't sing, what do you do? What do you do for fun? How do you entertain yourself? Qu'est-ce que tu fais quand tu ne chantes pas? I like uh, go out with my friends and uh, spend this, uh, moments and with my family, with my uh, brothers and uh, yeah, um, the, 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 yeah, the, the something uh, that uh, youngest to do. All right. Now, uh, all time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all time. Yeah. For the moment. Just right. At the moment, you probably don't have much free time, right? Uh, so, we got to know you uh, at Voice Belgium, but you started singing as a kid. How has that been your very long career now? Tu as commencé quand tu étais jeune, etc. à chanter. Comment ça a passé ta carrière Parce que tu as commencé à chanter quand tu étais très jeune, très petite. Je vais expliquer la histoire. Oui. J'ai commencé à chanter au conservatoire à 8 o'clock. À 8 ans. Et oui, j'ai eu une formation classique. Um, after that, uh, it, the voice was my first uh, professional uh, experience. Uh, it was very good, and uh, yeah, I had a, a lot of. Uh, I took a lot of maturity and trust in me, and confident, and uh, yeah. And now in it's a revision. It's just amazing because uh, in the past I, I don't realize that I represent my country and one year in it. Yeah, I'm very proud of the the, the way that I do. And why, why Eurovision? Why did you decide to uh, call Eurovision? Um, because it's a new adventure for me, it's a new challenge and uh, um, I'm very proud and it's an honor to represent my country. And um, yeah, it's just a, a, a dream come true for me. Okay. And when, uh, when they called you, uh, well, rather, in your selection you had three songs. Yeah. Uh, was Love Kills your favorite one? Yeah, honest, re honest response. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Love Kills was uh, exactly my uh, favorite song. At, at, at the beginning, when I listened for the first time uh, Love Kills, it was Love Kills immediately. All right. And now you've had Love Kills on stage in Malmo. How do you feel? I feel very happy. It's an honor to me to represent my country with this song. And uh, the stage, uh, technical problems, what would you change? For the first real song? Yeah. Ah, it was very good and yeah, and just um, for, for the first real song it was very good because just uh, to keep the, the, uh, the, the big stage, uh, to feel comfortable in, in this stage. And uh, all the team is very happy for the first year. And, and uh, I, I, yeah, I, it will be better and better in Rio Sol and Rio Sol. And I think it will be a surprise for the second semi final in the. Uh, uh, now, Belgium doesn't have a very good record of qualifying in Eurovision to, to the final. Uh, do you feel any additional pressure? Yeah. Uh, not the not the pressure because um, I feel the pressure because it's a big audience, but not the pressure because um, it's, I, I, I just do uh, I, I will do uh, a good performance with no regrets. After that, I, I will see. But uh, if I if I do a, a good performance, I I I have no, I have no pressure. Okay. Uh, so, one last message, if you want to do it in French for our francophone friends, uh, or me a message for our readers, on the dernier message for nos amis francophones. Ok. Uh, merci pour votre soutien, je suis vraiment très reconnaissant, et uh, si vous aimez ma chanson Love Kills, votez pour moi. Merci.